Hi, it's Bonnie. Welcome back. And today I'm giving you an in-depth tour of my Ocean View stateroom on Royal Caribbean's Jewel of the Seas. This cabin, located on the third floor, room 3634, was assigned to me as part of a guaranteed cabin selection. And I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised. So let's get started. All our pictures on our floor are of dogs. I'd like to discuss some key features. As this ship is a bit older, there are no USB outlets in the room. So just standard plugs at the desk and a foreign outlet with that as well. Just the one outlet here. And this some kind of modem and telephone thing. This is from like the old, old days. So it's not very um, modernized. There is an outlet here regular US and then there's a, uh -huh. a, a um, foreign outlet over here. It's really beneficial to bring something like this because as you can see I have my phone, my computer, and this is like charging my um, GoPro batteries and then I have batteries for my camera so I need a bunch of different outlets so this is helpful because it's got four here and then the three. It's lightweight. I brought a power strip with multiple outlets and some USB outlets that really helped. And although power strips, I guess I've heard, technically are no longer allowed, I did find that I could use it. And I was thinking maybe you should bring a wall outlet type device that could accommodate multiple USB cords because of the one outlet there. You could have multiple USB outlets on this wall plug and possibly that could help you if they really will be instating this no power strip policy because you will need to charge phones, laptops, iPads, camera batteries, all those types of things. And it could get a little bit crazy if you only have one outlet and one block. So just keep that in mind. And being on the third floor, I was initially hesitant. I ended up actually loving the proximity of the water line to my window. It was really calming to look out at the ocean from that level and I barely felt any movement at all and we were in some rocky water. It's funny, I don't normally get a lower roomed floor but I really enjoy looking out at the water. It's kind of peaceful this low. It's kind of like the dining room level. It's a peaceful room. Of course, you can open the curtains as much as you want. So this is the, what is the specials? I got my welcome thing here and my shore excursion things. Cruise compass has gone green and then some events that are happening. Just so you know, you can request a paper copy of the Cruise Compass. It doesn't have to be on the app. I use both, but it's kind of nice to have it in paper form. There are a total of six drawers, fairly deep. It's, you can fit into lots of things, so there's six of these. For solo travelers like myself, the cabin was perfect. It was cozy, quiet, and it was really an easy access to floors four, five, six, and seven, where most of the indoor activities took place. So I was able to just walk the stairs and also the dining room, I might add. The dining room was on four. So a couple of tips, if you need extra blankets, don't hesitate to ask. My cabin steward was happy to provide them for me. There's a nice couch. 
And like I said, I requested extra blankets before I even left the US. And they brought me two. Looks like a dog, a monkey, and some type of a rabbit. His head's coming off though. They were on my bed and I just put them here. But it's cute how he did the nose. That's kind of cute. I'm kind of getting a little tired, but that's a, the little uh, dog with the ears. It's cute. Part of the room is the idea of room service, and that is continental breakfast is free. The American breakfast is $7.95 service charge. And then on the other side, you have room service from 11 in the morning till 6 in the morning. But it's $7.95. You, know, you can get kind of salads or sandwiches, kids, grilled cheese, dessert, sides. So if you don't feel like dealing with the buffet. So your three options for eating are the uh, coffee shop has some snacks, some maybe half sandwiches and some muffins and that type of thing. You have your Solarium Cafe. It has the same type of menu as the coffee place. And that's open um, various hours. And then you have room service here. And like I say, it is $7.95. However, the continental breakfast, which is basically juice, something from the bakery, jam, cereal, fruit, yogurt, all that would be free of charge. The American breakfast that includes eggs, pancakes, or sides would be $7.95. And 18% eight, gratuity is added on certain ports of, or itineraries. We don't ever do room service. I don't know why, but... That shelf opens up. The shower is your standard shower. I guess it's on the small side. It has doors that close and I'll show you that in a moment. But this is the drying rack for your sim swimsuit. Then you've got this is the shower head. That's how that looks. Also be aware the amenities in the bathroom, they only have shower gel, which doubles as a shampoo. But if you prefer your own toiletries, it's best to bring them along. I know that you're, you could be worried about the weight requirement, but that is really a basic gel that, I don't know, it was kind of drying for my hair. And the onboard store does sell um, some conditioner and shampoo, but I can tell you it's quite pricey. Hot and cold. It has good um, strength to it. It's a good shower. And there's a handle here. There's no um, shelf on the bottom though. So it is a little bit small for some people. That's okay for me. There's the step there. I'm liking these four hooks. They come in handy for your toiletries. If you brought a bag, you can just hang it. Heat control. A couple hooks here for your things, which comes in handy. I really like that. Right here on the door. There's a magnet you can put on for sleeping off the adventure. Do not disturb. If you just don't want anyone to bother you. But they come in once a day. So mine comes in when I'm at dinner. And here is the closet. So there's plenty of hangers for your clothes. And there's room to store a suitcase or some bags. Then I have on the other side, I have some more clothes. I brought too many clothes, honestly. Then you have your life vests. And then we have a few shelves. There's overhead lighting for the closet and then the rest of the room. And there's also, you can see it over the window there as well. That's the only kind of lighting there is aside from the nightstands and the mirror there, the kind of a getting ready mirror. There's a nice vanity here for your getting ready. Ice is available from the stateroom attendant. Cooler, not a refrigerator, but it's been keeping things cool for me, so I have my couple sodas in here. I don't know if you are into loyalty reward type things, but I am um, a Royal Caribbean uh, Crown and Anchor member. I just hit my Diamond Plus status, so I get five free drinks 
One of them is coffee, a specialty coffee. So I don't really drink alcohol. So you can get, you can exchange it for this type of thing, like a drink, or you can take uh, water. So that's what I've been doing. I mean, I never even use up all my points. I probably should just give them away, but you know, you might want to think about joining those clubs because you can get free things. Your standard TV here. That's where you can watch your muster station things. And they also have on channel one the, all the happenings of the ship. Over the TV you have three shelves and a safe. This is operated by number. You pick a code and a hashtag to close it and a hashtag to open it. Same code. On the Brilliance of the Seas, they had a uh, curtain right here that you could pull closed if you, someone else was in the room, but they don't have that here. It's just all open. And there's some artwork. There's a mirror here. Each bed, I mean, each nightstand has a drawer. And then a little shelf down here. And of course, you've got your on off switch for the light. And there's also a reading light here. So that's nice. It's on both sides the same. And there's a phone and I have a message. I think I forgot an appointment. And there's controls at your bed to put on this light up here. That's controlled at your bed. There's also a switch here by the couch. It's a kind of like a little track light. I didn't even know that until I'm giving you the tour here. Before I wrap up, don't forget to check out my Jewel of the Seas playlist for more helpful tips and insights about this incredible ship. It has been my pleasure showing you around my room. If you found this helpful, informative, or you learned something, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe for more cruise tips and information. Thank you so much for watching. Happy cruising and until next time.